set for the boys. 16-17 age division event number six, double under snatch. Let's take a look at the overall leaderboard as we head into this event. And we see Angelo DeChico at the top with a 76-point lead over Murtaza Nadim there in second place. Yeah, it's really been the Angelo show up until this point. It's uh, He started out big the first day of competition, and uh, he's been leading the entire time. Double under snatch is what they'll be getting into, Justin. And again, what are you expecting to look for here, these athletes? What are they up against? Well, they're taking on a nice little couplet. And by couplet, I mean two different movements. So they've got to complete four rounds, and it'll go fast. But they're going to do 50 double unders. They'll jump the rope once. It'll pass under their feet twice. And then 15 snatches. So, yeah, it's, it's a burner. Now, in terms of lane assignments, we saw our leaders in Pepper as well as Mitchell right near each other and it seemed like Pepper did not do any peeking he was in his own world and that helped him come away with a surprise win in the event does that same ideology pertain to these assignments as DeChico in the middle at the top of the leaderboard will be able to see his closest competitors you know I think on an event that's so short you're just going to go as fast as you can I mean it's a sprint and so I think if you just you just go as fast as you can you can't do much more than that right like, even if you see somebody going faster, as long as your gas pedal's mashed all the way to the floor, it's not like you're going to get more out of it. And Nadine came up big yesterday, winning the sprint on the O, o course. And that helped move him into second place. So if he wants to stay in that position or even catch up point-wise, to Angelo Di Chico, he needs to just go, go, go on this event. And Di Chico, so far, I mean, we've thrown, what, five different types of fitness uh, events at him, and this guy's come up big in all of them. I don't see that double unders and, and snatches with a lighter weight are going to be any big deal for Angelo. So look for him to do well on this event, too. Again, DeChico is our overall leader. We've also got Guillermo Mayeros in third. Let's go to Nikki Brazier down on the floor. Good morning, Nikki. Oh, good morning, guys. You know, I'm noticing down here that these teenagers are looking incredibly calm, which I think is a huge factor when it comes to being new on the floor, being new to the sport, and potentially losing it if you're too nervous when you're out there. Yeah. And I would think that was also a, a definite difference compared to what we saw from these competitors in the team division on day number one when they definitely looked a bit more amped up. But it's time to get set for the double under snatch for the team boys 16-17 division here at the 2017 Reebok CrossFit Games. We're underway, team boys, 16-17, double under snatch. What are you expecting to see here? What's it going to take to win or get a good placing? Well, if I was coaching an athlete, I'd say, hey, look, you've got to use those wrists on that double under. Don't use the big muscles in your shoulders because they're going to fatigue, especially when you get to the, the snatches. We've uh, increased the age on the age division. We've gone up to the 16, 17-year-olds. So we've also increased the weight. It's a 95-pound snatch. So... They have to go unbroken on those snatches if they want to win this event. It's going to go so fast, you set it down or have a bobble. Just like we saw with Mitchell in the last heat, it cost him the event win. So you cannot do that here. Yoga Miller, it looked like he was his first one out to the bar. And we can see the athletes now all quickly making their way. There is the Chico and the team sitting there, respectively first and second on the leaderboard heading into this event. We're about one minute into a 10-minute cap. Nadim already shaking it off, same as DeChico as well. Now, did you expect them to get through unbroken through the entire sets, or does this differentiate from what you expected to see? Yeah, I, I'm a little surprised here. Both guys set the bar down. Uh, I mean, it's, it's 95 pounds, which we've seen these guys snatch. It's, it's not a heavy weight for them. I'm a little surprised that they set the bar down. This is a slower pace than I expected. And again, that is Nadim on your left. Now we've got Mayeros in third place. He had the 291 snatch, which looks like it's tied for sixth in the heaviest snatch of the game so far. So he is a strong young man. <laughs> One minute and 30 crazy. seconds. It is. Everybody on social media was responding to the fact that a 17-year-old put up 291. There's Nikolev coming in right there on your middle of your screen. 
We are getting close to the two minute mark again, a 10 minute cap in this event. We've got Nikki Blazier on the floor for a closer look. You guys are noticing that a lot of these boys down here are thinking about putting that barbell down a little sooner. And I'm starting to wonder whether or not it's because their grip is being incredibly taxed by the jump rope. And we saw them blow out their grip yesterday on those chest of bar pull-ups and the double unders. Interesting to see who can maintain their grip throughout all five rounds here today. Four, excuse me, four rounds. Justin, I think Nikki brings up a really good point because I was wondering about that when we did see the Chico put down the bar. I just said, how tired is he is not just from bar fight, but just from everything he's done up to this point? Because that's the unknown with these athletes. Well, you know, that. I mean, that is a great point. We're six events in. This is our sixth event. And, uh, yeah, we've had long events. We've had short events. These guys have been swimming and running one and a half miles at a time. So, yeah, they're tired. It's it, I mean, even though they're young, they're going to recover a lot faster than some of the older athletes that we'll see coming up later today. But still, all of this, uh, all of these different events, they take their toll. In the left of your screen, we do see Ramirez in the yellow trunks. We've also got my arrows back there as well. So these guys are already moving back to the road. But again, taking a look at Ramirez right now, we entered this day fifth place on the leaderboard. We're at the three minute and 12 second mark. We've got a 10 minute cap. And Daniel Ostalaza here, he's done a great job on his double unders, and I think he's being smart. He's seeing the other guys start to break up their sets on the uh, on the snatches, and he's broken it up a little bit, but he kept his rest periods really, really short. And this is just all about cycling the barbell, uh, you know, managing that grip because it is taxed after the last couple of days. And he got a no rep there. So Ostalaza came into the day 19th on the leaderboard, 5'10", 180 pounds. He was the 13th seed coming into the CrossFit Games. Approaching the four minute mark. And you can see Mayeros as well as Ramirez, both of them setting that bar down. Ramirez on your left, Mayeros on your right. Again, Mayeros with the one with the 291 pound snatch. Quickly making a star out of himself, at least for one event at these games. Yeah, you're exactly right. And he's just doing a muscle snatch there. He's not even bending his legs. Now, watch Ostalaza on these double unders because he does a great job keeping his elbows tight. Now we're back to Angelo. And he's just cycling that so fast and smooth. Okay, now he's going to start his third round. This is where I think things get really interesting because this is where it starts to hurt. The fourth round, you can kind of say, hey, the, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I just got to push it a little bit more and I'm done. But the third round <laughs> is a different story. Ostalaza, Ostalaza is doing a great job of pushing it here in this third round when he's really tired already. Machine like with those double unders was Ostalaza. And when he made his way back before, he stretched out his shoulders. But here comes Mayeros as well. He wants another event win. He's so strong, he's just doing a muscle snatch here. He's not even bending his knees to get underneath it and catch the bar. He is flying. Yeah, it makes it a lot faster. You don't have to stand that bar back up again. But I think who, whoever can hang on to the bar the longest is going to win this event. Mayeros on your right, Ostalaza on your left. Mayeros is leading the competition. Ostalaza is in second in this event right now. Okay, now we're seeing on the right, we're seeing Mahieros dip underneath that bar and catch it a little bit. Obviously, the fatigue is starting to get, catch up to him, and now he's done. So, great job, a little dab action there. So, Mahieros comes through at about 5.37 unofficially to take the event. And now we're seeing Ostalaza come in as well. He'll step through at 5.49 unofficially with a slap to some friends and family. Now we'll got to see who comes up. There's Nikolev, yellow trunks, came on the day on eighth place. Less than four minutes remain. Now we're seeing these athletes push through this last set without setting the bar down. There's Mazza, he'll make his way in, 621 unofficially. Nikolev coming in, 628. Yeah, this one is definitely a burner. These guys are going fast. And you can see Murtaza there. 
Shirtless Black Trunks, he comes in at 643. And we're still taking a look at the Chico now in front of us. Justin, he's back. Everybody else is on the floor, and An Angelo is uh, going back to get his rope. I don't even think he's breathing hard. Now, he might be breathing a little bit. So this is interesting from DeChico. He just looks like unfazed. Yeah. So less than three minutes remain. So it was interesting to me, Ted, a lot of the guys actually set the bar down to take a small break. So we have they still finished right. really fast. Yeah, just our last athlete on the floor. Now everybody will come gather around Castro, representing the spirit and community of the CrossFit world. His best finish was on the assault lunge where he placed 10th. Two minutes remain. Team boys, 16, 17, double under snatch. Castro came in on the day, 16th overall. Doing a good job. Nice bar path. Dipping underneath that bar, standing up straight with the big muscles in his lower body. And he'll bring it in at 820. So they all get in once again, flying in well under the 10 minute mark. And does that tell you this is programmed correctly? Oh yeah, I mean, I think they're coming in right when we expected athletes to come in. And so, yeah, I, I think it's definitely appropriate. All right, let's go to Maleros here and see what he was doing so efficiently. Well, he started out with just that muscle snatch, meaning he wasn't even dipping underneath the bar to catch it and stand up with it. The elbow's nice and tight to his body here and just smooth and relaxed on those double unders. Now at the end, he knew he had to push it, so that's when the fatigue set in. You started to see him dip a little bit on that, but that's really where he caught. We've he got caught Nikki, up to Osawaza. We've got Nikki Brazier on the floor with our event winner. Okay. Nikki, how are you doing?